from, like, you know, online sources. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Well, that, that's just sort of his M.O., you know. He didn't get vaccinated. Isn't he like a flat earther or something? Well, hang on. Here's the thing. If you are a professional jock, an off chance of myocarditis is probably something you could arguably not fuck with. So um, why risk it? Yeah, but you're more likely to get myocarditis from COVID than from the vaccine. You're underwater again. If you're talking, I can't hear you. Me no hear you. What do you mean you don't hear me? I wasn't hearing you. I, I said you're more likely to I didn't say anything. Myocard- I asked you why risk it. You I thought you were thinking. No, no, no. We had a breakup then. Something broke up. I said okay, what you're more likely <laughs> you're more likely oh you're more likely to get myocarditis from COVID than you are from the vaccine. No 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 you and I I am not pro jock fucking Tyree not like pro jock fucking Djokovic like their hearts are fucking powerful as fuck There's nothing's fucking with their hearts no fucking okay so the gonna fuck with their hearts. <laughs> okay. Get out of here. Fine. Well, okay. <laughs> okay. We are, we Yo, are fuck it. deep Actually, in territory where we both don't know what we're talking August. about, but it's fine. So, like, that's where we're fucking <laughs> starting the pod with. So, fuck it. That's what time okay. it is. It's week 10. The rubber is hitting the road in the college football season. We kind of got our dicks kicked in last week, but we yeah. just had bonus picks with Sparty. Actually, wait. We didn't give out plus twenty three, did we? Fuck. We pushed. No, it was twenty one. Pushed and a half all that pick. But fucking it, out of pocket, we won. We hit the plus twenty three. That was sweet. Fucking twenty nine, twenty seven. Hell yeah. Okay. What happened? Um, I can hear you, folks. Ladies and gentlemen, we're having some awesome little technical difficulties. Bear, bear with us. You know, um, but I can hear you. Okay. I just didn't. But, but okay, how are you feeling, Ben? How are you feeling about last week? How you feeling about this week? How's it going? Uh, I. This is this is the the most difficult stretch uh, between now and and the bowl games. I feel like this is this month. I never do well. I never do well in November. Um, but hopefully this year we can turn things around, you know, apply lessons learned. But this is this is a tough month. This is a tough month. So feeling I, a little anxious. I mean, I'm not going to lie to you. I feel like the only thing that happens to us, me at least, in November is that I bet too much. And if I just curb my enthusiasm, everything will actually work out fine. Like, we're going to pick a lot of winners. It's just like, let's not get into a thing where we chase it. Well, a certain you know. someone has um, doubled their unit size this week. But I'm I, betting. You know what? Hey, <laughs> hey, that's how that is. That's how that is. And, hey, you know, hey, we hit a parlay last week. The only game of the series, the Astros won, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was awesome. Thank you. Thank you. I mean, mm-hmm. I was really down yeah. bad. I'm still still down. I, I lost my um, FIU under three wins future somehow. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> also, <laughs> really? They have four yeah. wins? Get the yeah, they fuck. Beat, yeah, they beat La Tech. They beat Charlotte. They beat Bryant at the beginning of the year in like – the fourth overtime, and they beat New Mexico State. But yeah, they oh, just beat La Tech cool. on their third against the third string quarter La Tech's third string quarterback. So um, yeah, that that hurts. Um, so yeah, Gross. still still having some having some trepidation, but uh, also uh, excited. I feel I feel very good, very confident about my game this week. All right. I, hey, that's the thing to do 
when, you know, when shit is hitting the fan a bit, you know, just tighten up, choose selectively. Um, okay. Well, that's right. As you mentioned, I am, I'm getting us started with a uh, rotation, the three, four, seven, three, four, eight, Minnesota laying 16 on the road and Lincoln at 46, 46 and a half on the total. And this spread has gotten out of control last week. Last week, Illinois was laying seven and a half in this spot. I simply refuse to accept the idea that freaking Minnesota would lay eight or something to Illinois on a neutral site. Minnesota doesn't move the ball like that. Again, I mean, look, I don't want to say anything negative about what P.J. Fleck is doing. Um, I don't want to say anything bad about Purdy, but, you know, he's a bum. He's not good enough to just open a margin like this. Nebraska, say what you will. They've been playing with pride. They're not good, but they, they've they not quit either. And that's all I need is four quarters of effort to keep this, like, in the neighborhood of two touchdowns. Minnesota, even if they open a double-digit lead, they are not going to put their foot on the gas. I Yeah, I really like the Huskers in this spot. Um, so I think Casey Thompson in that game versus Illinois got knocked out. So he's questionable. So I think that's why the line is, um, in at 16, as opposed to where it was previously or where you mean it should to, be. Wait, you mean to tell me I'm supposed to believe that the drop off from QB one to QB two is more than a touchdown? Nobody on this team has distinguished themselves. Who on Nebraska can actually be truly proud of their season? Um, Everyone there is replaceable, in other words. Anthony Anthony Grant, the running back, is pretty decent. Like, I think if, if their offense was humming, he, he could probably be – I think he probably, in terms of yards, he's definitely up there. I don't know what number it is. Uh, in terms of yards gained this season. Um, but I would imagine he would have a more successful season if the offense generally was just humming, like if they could convert third downs. You know what I mean? If the if offense was only. more dynamic, you know what I mean? So Anthony, Anthony Grant is, yeah. might be the you, best you know player. What? You know why it's not more dynamic? They don't have a receiver who runs fast down the field, Okay. They don't have a quarterback who throws good, and they don't have an offensive line that sets up a reliable pocket. So the, all of those factors conspire. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, and I think their their like le- their left tackle has been out since like week three or week two. And anyway, so yeah, I I when you texted me this, I feel like this is smart. Honestly, if I'm gonna bet this. I'm going to just bet it on Nebraska money line. Like Minnesota is not – yeah, like uh, Minnesota is not – has been actually rather disappointing. Um, and Tanner Morgan, <laughs> I believe, is still hurt. So, yeah, I think Minnesota might be frauds. This could be like the, the perfect game where something totally unbelievably wacky happens, you know. but. um I'm I'm gonna stay away. I think this is a really smart bet. Um, you know, just my my risk appetite is really low. But if if I were to bet this, I'd put a small amount of money on on the Nebraska money line and just hope for um, total wackiness. That's the way yeah, I approach know, it. But but I su- I support your um your your line of thinking. Yeah 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 no I mean look Minnesota they yeah they're they're not like a dominant team. The quarterback's a bit of a stiff. Um, like yeah, they might be frauds. Yeah, like I was. I mean, I was into him coming into the season, but me too. Well, you know what? Coming into the season, this yeah, this line was definitely not this. It was probably Nebraska favored coming into the season. Yeah, but a, a, lot, a lot of time has passed since. <laughs> You know, I've been thinking about it, and, like, you shouldn't even let the events of the season necessarily change your priors that much. 
Like usually the day that we know who's who's good and just like ignore all the results. You know, like how the Republicans do it. Let, let's let's say if we're talking about like a program rolling average, like a five year rolling average of well, what is the average success? of Nebraska? <laughs> what is the of average success? of Nebraska? That's what I'm saying. That's good. what I'm saying. If we look at the five year rolling average of success. Minnesota is a better program. I think probably, maybe not if we do a 10-year rolling average. Maybe not. Probably it's about a wash. If we look at like a five-year rolling average of success, whatever metric we want to use for success, uh, Minnesota is going to come out on top. No, you're right. No. Nebraska wishes they had had fucking P.J. Fleck. Like, Nebraska (laughs) is like... Yeah, there's actually, there's rumors (laughs) that he... That that um, the Nebraska AD, whoever it is, has reached out to PJ Fleck to to fill the coaching vacancy. Oh my God, that would be such heartbreak for the Gophers program if PJ got stolen away from them. Now, uh, question. Okay, so if you're PJ Fleck and you're and you're interested in this Nebraska job and however many more millions of dollars a year it can it can give you do you think it's better for him applying for this job if he destroys Nebraska in this game or like lets them cover because if he destroys Nebraska yeah. it shows it shows that his his you know uh, coaching prowess you know his his uh, ability to get to um, aggregate and gather talent, and on the other side, it's like you know it's, it's more of a, uh, a gentlemanly gesture, right? So which which one do you think would be, what, which that, avenue do you think so PJ should go down here? I I bet you those people are so messed up. Yeah, they would get mad if they got totally wrecked. They would like, yeah. why didn't you take it easy on us? Exactly. Yeah, this is really true. PJ should not win this game by, just by like two six touchdowns. touchdowns. Just, just yeah. two touchdowns. That's all yeah, you need, babe. <laughs> yeah, that's actually true. He, he has no reason to run up the score on these people. Hey, all right, I like it. Yeah, I like the Huskers. Again, um, what did I call Tanner Morgan? Oh my God, you Whatever. called him they're Purdy. All a bunch of big, yeah, they're all a bunch of big. Big but crap. Purdy, Purdy, anyway. Chuba, Chuba, Purdy is the backup at Nebraska. Okay, that's the Brock name. Purdy's, Brock Purdy's brother. Oh fuck me! I okay. think it's Chuba. It might be Chuba. I, it's it's like Chuba or something Chuba. like that. I don't know. No, I I prefer I prefer your pronunciation by far. Um. All right then. All right. Very nice. Now. I'm going to tell you this next one. I don't know. Maybe it's fucking square. Like, let's be honest. Um, it's Baylor at Oklahoma. And the fucking, the fucking Sooners are favored. Am I reading this right? Yeah, by three and a half points. Or, yeah, I or just making sure I don't have this bad backwards. Because, like, what this shitting fuck is going on? Oklahoma has the worst run defense around. I don't think – I think Venables is having a hard time. I don't think he is – I don't – it's also maybe he can't reach these kids. Maybe he needs new kids, you know. <laughs> like, he's like, he can't – maybe he can't. Like, there, you know, look, we all know that fucking – what's his face? Fucking Crooked Riley, he left the covered bear. Like he left them in a really bad spot, and and yeah, it's and it's showing. Oklahoma, Oklahoma couldn't put away fucking Kansas, and we're talking about Baylor as dogs. Get the fuck out of here. Give me three in the hook all day. I mean, really, give me the money line. Like Baylor's gonna beat this team. Dave Aranda's just in a better spot. Like, yeah, I don't understand this line really. That's why it feels square to me to give it out. But I'm also like, fuck it. You know, some square bets hit last week. Yeah, I, I don't I don't get this either. Um, this should be inside three. Easily. 
Yeah. To, to me, these teams are – You know, we don't really – maybe home field is two, maybe it's one and a half. I think, like, Sagarin has it as 1.4 or 1.2. Like, to me, mm. Oklahoma should be, like, mm, a one-point favorite on a neutral. But even that just might be bias because I'm looking at the letters on the jersey and saying probably in a neutral, I lean Oklahoma. But that's just bias. Like, this should be inside three. Right. And let's just make sure I'm on top of this quarterback news. Dylan Gabriel, still dead. No, he's back. He is returned. Okay, so it's Gabriel yeah, he, versus I think he played in. I think he played in the Iowa State game. Gotcha. Okay, so it's Gabriel versus Shapen. So, okay, so they – all right, so no. The Sooners still think they got the better quarterback. The betting market still agrees with that, I guess. I yeah, I guess I'll accept that. Yeah, still yeah, that's, that's reasonable. Yeah. 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 Yeah, I'll take I that. Agree. I like Dave Aranda. He's like a college professor. Um, what do you think about him going to Auburn as the Auburn head coach? Um, I think that Saban better watch the fuck out. Yeah, the Iron that, Bowl is that, gonna get fucking really real. He's gonna be the guy who saves the Tigers. Like yeah. when when Malzahn had Cam Newton, he did cheese him that time. I think he could be he. he yeah, I mean, yeah, it could be an equivalent to Georgia. Yeah, the equivalent to Georgia. Yeah, yeah, like Georgia. 2017, 2018, 2019. Like, excellent defense, not a very innovative offense. Well, the thing is, is every offensive coordinator who's, like, selling you some scheme, he's, like, he seems like a Lyle Langley. Like, you can't trust him. So you always want to go with a guy who says shit that makes sense to you. But, like, if it makes sense to you, then, yeah, it's just some, you know, it's just some retread stuff. So it's like, yeah, it's tricky for a defensive head coach to hire offensive staff. You know what offensive coaches do, right? In terms of what? What are you talking about? Hiring defensive staff. You know why it doesn't work the other way? Because what? offensive staff just hire any defensive guy who shuts them the fuck down. Yeah, sure. <laughs> like, yeah. Oh, fuck, you're good. <laughs> I need you. That's that's what um, Sonny Dyke said about um, I forget his last name. I think it might be Signetti. I'm not sure. But so the um, the the defensive coordinator at TCU was the DC at Tulsa, and Sonny was like, "This guy kept fucking me when I was at SMU, <laughs> so I hired him to join me at TCU." <laughs> I can't figure it out. <laughs> yeah. Um, all right. So yeah, if I I mean look, I wouldn't I wouldn't put it up as the best bet nominee. I feel much more strongly about the Huskers being the right side to wager on. Um but now but now we're coming to your game and this one this is an interesting game. At four two one, four two two, Clemson visiting South Bend, laying three in the hook on a total of forty four and a half. Both those numbers feel right to me. Which way are you going with this? Um, besides tight end, does Notre Dame, any position group on Notre Dame superior to that on Clemson? Besides tight end. Definitely, definitely not. Yeah. Definitely the, not. Maybe Notre Dame's offensive line a year ago or two years ago, but they've lost a lot of guys to the NFL of the past few years. No. Um, quarterback, no. Offensive line, no. Running back, no. De- defensive line, no. Defensive backfield, when healthy, Clemson is superior. Special teams, Clemson. Uh, Potter, the kicker, is fantastic. Um, coaching, Marcus Friedman could be an excellent coach but uh, Dabo has national championship rings. Uh, To me, all around, Clemson is a significantly better team. Um, 
I, I'm laying this with Clemson. I, I feel I'm, I, I do, I'm not concerned at all about this. I feel like everything you said makes me want to take the under. Um, here's some, here's okay. Let's let me let me ask you this: Do you think that there's a chance that Clemson will fail to score a touchdown in the first half? No. Okay, I do kind of think there's a chance of that. I kind of want to try to find that prop. Clemson to score no first half touchdowns that feel like I think that you're going to get a very intense game from the Notre Dame defense. The Notre Dame defense is aware of what the offense is because they play the offense yeah. in practice and they own them. So then they know going into the game that they have to carry this. It's going to be a really intense, intense atmosphere. Well, you could you're take right. The... I would lay it before I took it. Clemson is yeah. Clemson is clearly better, and if, this if you, is coverable. It, listen, then I think it, on DraftKings it's 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 juiced uh, one fifteen, but under twenty two for the first half. If you think Clemson can't score a touchdown in the yeah. first half, and they only yeah. they're only kicking field goals, let's say nine points, Notre Dame is probably only scoring one touchdown. I don't think. No, I, mean, I was it, thinking, yeah, I was thinking the, nine to yeah. three halftime score. Yeah. Yeah. Nine, so you three, should. Clemson, yeah. Yep. Yep. M- minus 115, under 22. I like that. I like that a lot. I mean, I won't. Yeah, I won't argue for taking the points. I just wonder if the game will accidentally stay close. That's all. Like, I wouldn't I wouldn't bet on Notre Dame now. This Clemson is, has been playing. I've watched a lot of Clemson games this, this year. Um, Clemson has been playing pretty close in the first half, but then um, Will Shipley and the offensive line start to deteriorate um, defenses, and the Clemson's defensive line starts to get um, deteriorate offensive lines. The Tigers do wear on you; they keep yeah. coming. Yep. And um, yeah, yeah. You know what? So, Under the light. Silence we, the crowd uh, in I, I I have another pick. Okay. Um, um oh, okay, and, because I, I did want I also do want to do a quick look couple of quick hitters on some big games. But yes. Oh give me okay, another okay. One. Very very, very quick. This is square. I think this might be square, but Florida State versus Miami. Florida State is laying seven and a half points. Florida State. This Miami team oh. Hang on, hang on. So this is rotation three to nine, three three zero, and yeah, we got the Knolls laying seven and a, and a half. You're gonna lay the, you're gonna lay the wood. I'm gonna lay the wood. I know this is a rivalry game, and so this, this makes me feel very uncomfortable. Um, but like this Miami team, okay. Um, Tyler Van Dyke might be coming back. Uh, because Jake okay. Garcia has been the quarterback for the last two games, but Tyler Van Dyke has been been injured. In games that Tyler Van Dyke has has, has uh, been the starting quarterback, they scored thirty points. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna move I'm gonna remove uh, Bethune Cookman from this from this sample set. Sure. When Tyler Van Dyke has been uh, the quarterback in um, Mario Cristobal's offense, they scored thirty points versus University of Southern Miss. They have scored nine points versus Texas A&M. They have scored 31 points versus uh, Middle Tennessee State. They have scored 24 points versus UNC, 20 points versus VATEC, 21 points versus Duke, and 14 points versus versus UVA. Um, you're going to have to score more in order to uh, to beat this FSU team or even cover this FSU team. They're extremely talented. This is um, I know this is at home um, in Miami Gardens, but there is zero home field advantage. Um, this is a very good Florida State team that's been well tested. Um, I just think they're considerably more talented. They have the better resume. Um, and they can score far more than um, Miami can. So uh, 
So I think this is going to be a 9 to 10 point cover. You you know, you really you really stepped out there. I'm not going to lie to you. You stepped out there. That's I know. Hell, it doesn't that's feel great. Call. It doesn't that's feel great call. in a rivalry game with 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 the hook, but um it's where I'm. It's where I'm going. I, I don't think that there's any All evidence. All right. What is the total? Okay, the total's fifty-two and a half, fifty-three. Yeah. That doesn't tell us much. Um. Mm-mm. Here, let me let me let me say this. Norvell has every reason to outcoach the shit out of Cristobal in this game, right? Recruiting the boosters. Yep. His fucking pride. But yes. Yeah. Those first two things as well, right? Yeah. I. Okay, I can see it. I can see the Knolls pulling away in this game. They're certainly incentivized to. Miami has been getting pantsed. That is, um, that is, yeah, that's why I wanted to stay away from this was because uh, it feels like we're late to the party on the whole Hurricanes A train, oh, you know. We are. We are. That's why I'm saying yeah. this is a little square. That's yeah. why I think it's square. It's a bad number, but I like the spot and the matchup. The, yeah, but it's a bad I mean, number. It's, yeah, it is. It's like I mean you no, I mean you're counting on the Knowles to name their fucking number and just like skull fuck the games. That's 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 right what I there. think was gonna happen. That's what I think. Yeah, is just like happen. hush the home crowd. Yeah. <laughs> I mean people will um Yeah, I wonder. I wonder how badly can Mario do? He's unfireable is the thing. Exactly. It's like Right? He yeah. He, That's not a good so position to be in. You know, some people would actually perform their best when they were unfireable. But I'm certainly not among those people. I would a hundred percent be like, Well, y'all can't touch me. Fuck it. Yeah, exactly. These kids are bums. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like cold, but yeah. Just on place. to next year. Yeah. On to yeah, next exactly. year. Yeah. I gotta make some recruiting I mean, calls on the sideline. Like I mean, Chris Ball of course knows that continually getting whooped up on does not aid him in recruiting. Yeah. You know, there's only a limited amount of trashing your current players you could do while you're on the recruiting trail. So uh, that's that's my my additional supplemental All right. pick. Um, All right, I feel I very it. very good about it. It's just a terrible number to be giving out, but I feel very confident in it. Well, I mean that is the nature of all of all such square wagers is to feel confident. Indeed, in it. indeed. Now, now, indeed. now, let, now let me let me ask you this. Let me ask you about rotation three five seven three five eight Texas laying two and a half on the road in the Little Apple. Can you believe? Can you believe this fucking K State team? Anyway, they, they just destroyed the Pokes last week. Did you fucking catch that? Oh, my God. And I didn't whatever. watch it, but, yeah. Oh, my God. All right. Anyway, K-State catching two and a half at home on a total of 54 and a half. You, I, I feel like I could only bet on Texas here, but I also feel like if I bet on Texas and get skull fucked, I will feel really stupid. But how do you feel about this game? Um, it's a stay away. I, I think of the course. line yeah, no, too, the, 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 the line's too close. It. No, the line it's, the it's line like, the line is too close. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Don't you think that's pretty cheap lay for Texas? Fucking two and a half against goddamn K State. Well, that's pretty cheap. I'll take the K State might be the better team, Bucko. K State might be the better team there, Bucko. <laughs> I, mean, <laughs> I mean, every time I fuck with Chris Kleiman, he fucking crushes me. Like, yeah. I am, he's broken my spirit. I don't want to fuck with this guy again. I took the pokes last week. I parlayed the pokes with stuff. Wrong. <laughs> Wrong. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. This, it's, yeah. K State might be the better team. So uh, this is this is 
is to, is to stay away. Listen, if if Adrian Martinez was 100% going to be in this, I would say Kansas State, Kansas State. And, and, and it was at this number, I'd say Kansas State, a million percent. Don't bet Texas. Fool's gold, blah, 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 blah. Will, Will Howard as a backup as was not great in uh, 2021 or 2020, but he is definitely serviceable, to say the least, this year. So um, they, they are they a are really well-coached, sound team, um, and that historically has not been uh, a series of, of words or, or phrases that would you would use to describe uh, Texas. So... I am not going to touch it. Uh, no, but, that's fair. Uh, that's yeah. fair, but but I mean, all right, no, that's fair. And you gave us a, a reasonable lead. I don't, yeah, I don't mind it. All right, rotation three nine nine four hundred. Tennessee visiting the champs. Bulldogs laying eight eight and a half on a total of like mostly sixty sixes out there. I wanted to lay the wood in this game. Isn't that weird? It's just I just feel like that's the line it's telling you to do. It's like the how often has Tennessee ever been good? Like Tennessee's never been good. And like now they're eight and a half point dogs. People yeah, the bookie wants you to take that, being like, Oh, that's a lot of points for the number one team to get. George is gonna strangle these guys. Actually, yeah. <laughs> I yeah. How do you see this? Should you hold this is, out Georgia? This is pros. This is pros versus Joes. Um, this is pros versus Joes. Georgia is the smart pick, but t- Tennessee might be the team of destiny. So fuck that. <laughs> this, fuck this, that noise. This, we going between the hedges, baby. <laughs> you going between the hedges? It's gonna be like delivering squeal like a pig. Oh, it's over. Yeah. Oh, wow. Lay the oh, well. eight. Yeah, what, Georgia well, what, seven, Tennessee ten. Well, what your what your boy is gonna do is find like Illinois versus Sparty money line, another um, heavy favorite money line, and then parlay with the Tennessee money line and get one of my mm. DraftKings twenty five percent boosts on that bitch. Oh <laughs> fuck yes. <laughs> oh, absolutely. oh, that's glorious! Oh my yeah. fucking god! I gotta, I gotta stay hot on the promos and see if I can catch one of those. Oh, yeah, that's they usually glorious. the DraftKings has like Mike Golick Jr. has a promo, and if you add more legs to the parlay, it gives you a greater odds boost. But if you have if three legs to the parlay, it's a twenty five percent boost, something like that. So you do like. Uh, fucking Illinois money line, North Carolina versus Virginia money line, just 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 for example, and then Tennessee money line. That's what you do, something like that. Yeah, dude. A oh, minus seven hundred, minus three fifty, and then plus two forty. Uh, with what your something that's where Tennessee is somewhere around there. Then boosted. That's what you fucking do, and you just hope for the team of destiny to. You root for the team of destiny. That's 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 the play. Well, here's one thing. It's not fun. It's not going to be fun for rooting for Georgia. You could also like alt line ten and a half with Georgia, and and be mm. like a real smug son of a bitch. You could do it both ways, mm. right? You could you could do like um, minus ten and a half with those other money line uh, legs I mentioned before parlayed with a profit boost. And you can do the other side. <laughs> First of all, I don't. I yeah, I don't hate the Polish middle. Um, I do tend to think yes. If the game is close in the fourth quarter, Tennessee will win the game. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I tend to agree with you. That yeah, the Polish middle is probably not a bad idea. The total also points to Tennessee. Sixty-six is not. Yeah. That's not a bulldog's total. That's, that's nope, a it's not. Total. That, yep. that really implies the dog will be active. Um, or, or hey. it implies that the, the odds makers think that Tennessee's defense is just hot trash, and that Georgia could put up, you know, forty-five, forty-two on them. But I don't think that's the case. It's fine. It's a fine defense. It's not 
good. Or yeah, terrible. right. Yeah, that's fine. And and Hooker has played well. He's yeah. played well. If he's played, he's been better than I thought he would be. And yeah, and hats off to the young man. All right, just one more because I can't help myself. Three eight nine three nine zero. Fucking Cougars at Southern Methodist. Mordecai returns. The Mustang, the Mustang playing three on a total of 67 and, oh, well, 66 and a half, too. And I'm like, you know what, dude, isn't, isn't Smoo going to win and just, like, crush Houston? I am not the person to ask. I have no, no, that's been the thing. On Are you, wrong forget all of the things that happened. <laughs> Forget all the things because you know the same thing happened to me in the NFL with Lamar. Like I kept on betting on Lamar and I kept losing and it was just gross. But like and it clouded my judgment. But like forget, imagine you never played either team this season. Isn't this shit like just Mustangs all day? Aren't the ponies just gonna wreck them? Um. And ladies and gentlemen, I am going to um, eat a spring roll while we are um, recording this podcast. I'm not very professional, but I don't care. Um, no. Well, I Houston jammed in plays... a bunch of games on you, so it's fair. But yeah. Uh, fine. Houston. Houston plays close games. They've been playing close games this year. I would not be surprised if games. they they were playing close games for teams they should fucking beat. And they have been losing to teams that are teams they should be able to play with. Like I don't know, it's dude. Cougar, it's it's kind of like off brand. UTSA could be SMU. Kansas with Jalen Daniels can beat SMU. Like they've had a, they've had a difficult schedule. SMU has had a harder schedule. I, yeah. I, I, I'm I'm not saying I'm not touching this game at all. Maybe you want to in-game bet it or something, but live bet it, but no. No, thank you. I mean, I wouldn't hate getting a better price on the ponies, but to put that aside, like, they are I, – I think I think they're clearly better than Houston this season. Something's rotten in the state of Denmark. There's something wrong with Dana's team. Like, There's something this, wrong with both I, these this, teams. Both no, of these no, teams no. are flawed. No, no. As you say, Smoo has lost close games against a tough schedule. Like, you took them in some big spots, and they were right in the shit, and then they just didn't cover. But like, so was Houston. Now so, people... was Houston. so was Houston. Yeah, I guess that's true. I just feel like Houston didn't play good. But that's fair. Yeah, I mean, right. but like the the message boards for SMU, like everyone hates Lashley. Like I just there's there's a couple kids that um have like gone into the transfer portal for SMU. Like the, the program mm. could be at in a little bit of a crisis mode. So oh, um, that's a good point. Bo- both yeah, both both of these teams are sort of stay away. Like that they're hoping that they're bowl eligible. Like they're not in contention to win the American. This is a three three legged race between Tulane, UCF, and Cincinnati, which like we called out Tulane in, in the beginning of the year as being a dark horse, and I did not bet on them to win the conference oh, championship. For real? Oh, I have, I have, well, I, have I took a UCF the fucking cash future. out, so it's all the same. But like, yeah, that's that. Yeah, Tulane really took care of business, dude. Yeah, uh, but no, that's 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 a total stay away. That's a total stay away. No, for me. No, that's fair enough. Hey, what's two, up? With that? Two programs. What? Clemson. I'm sorry, it's Clemson. It's Clemson. Clemson. You want to lay? You want to lay three in the hook with Clemson? I would have thought it'd be the Huskers. Be this honest. is good. This is going to end up being five and a half. Okay, so or are you sure? Four and a half. Yes. Huh. Yeah. All right then, fine, fine. Three in the hook with Clemson. That's how that's bad. Hell okay. yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah. Okay, <laughs> it's time to 